Okay. Everybody ready? Um, how would you answer this question? Any ideas? If if you saw this on a test, ah, stop it. Stop it. If you saw this question on a test, what would you say? Uh, okay, well let's 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 say it has a base. Okay, so right now we're we're not um, defining it; we're describing it. I guess that's what we could say. Has a base. It's true. It's a description. And sometimes that base is ten. Thank you. Um, sometimes it's something else. But what is a logarithm? Surprise, nobody knows. There's one idea that is the key idea to logarithms. It's almost the reason we do logarithms. Ready? Okay, thank you. Whew. Um, it gets rid of exponentials because it is the inverse of exponentials. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, this is a, the one key idea. Okay. If I were to ask you what is a logarithm, one of the things that you have to have to have to say is that a logarithm is the inverse of an exponential. Okay. Um, what if I asked you to uh, explain what a logarithm is graphically? or to illustrate what it is graphically. What does that mean? Or how would you do that? Yeah, you could graph a parent function. And what would you compare it to? What would you compare the parent function to? Like if I wanted to graph, let's take our natural logarithm, right? That's a good parent function there. What would I compare this to 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 get this idea that it's the inverse of exponentials. What graph would I want to compare it to? What's the base of a natural log? Ten. Not 10. Oh. E, okay. So I would want to compare it to an exponential with a base of E, right? Everybody see that? So let's, let's do that really quick. Um, so here it is. If I wanted to illustrate it graphically, this is what it would look like. I need the exponential function, so here's y equals e to the x. I need the logarithmic function, so y equals natural log of x. And then I need that line of reflection, which is just y equals x. Okay. So that's how you illustrate that something is an inverse graphically. Okay. Um, the other thing you would need to include if this were a question on the test, hint, hint, um, was an example of how to use it, all right? And, uh, and what you can do on the test, there will be problems where you'll have to use a logarithm to solve a problem, and you can refer back to it. So, for example, if I had, I don't know, 2 times 3 to the x equals... Um, Eight, right? How would you solve that? What would you do first to solve that? Divide by two. Divide by two. Good. So three to the x equals four, and then what? Take the log base three of both sides, right? Because that'll cancel that out. So x equals log base three of four. And then you could plug log base 3 of 4 into your calculator and you'll get a decimal. Okay? So, so here's, here's what we have. A logarithm is the inverse of an exponential. That's the key idea. Here is how you illustrate it graphically. And you could, you could do this with any graph. You could say, you know what, I'm going to use y equals log x, which then the inverse would be y equals 10 to the x. Or I'm going to do y, y equals log base 2 of x. And the inverse to that would be y equals 2 to the x, right? I just chose e because e is nice and easy. 
Does that make sense? As long as whatever you choose has the same base, they're going to show up as inverses of each other. And then when you graph that y equals x line, um, then it'll be obvious that they're inverses because they're reflected across that line. Okay? And then you can have one example of, this is how I would use a logarithm to solve an equation. This is why it's important that it's the inverse of exponentials because it allows me to solve an exponential equation. Any questions on that? Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this.